Hello everyone, this is Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the um, <clears throat> mini love reading for May 2016 for the Aries, okay? So, um, <clears throat> this is going to be a three card spread, past, present, future. Um, so, I'm just going to be looking at the energies from the past that are still affecting you, possibly holding you back from moving forward. Um, what lessons you need to take from the past to use to your advantage today. Um, we're going to look at present, which is what is going on for you in your love life right now. <clears throat> and then um, opportunities and challenges that you're currently facing. Um, also the future, which is the outcome, which is what you're really wanting. Right, so I'm going to get them laid out. <clears throat> All right, so for the present, oh goodness, the death card. We got a lot of transformations happening in the month of May, and I understand why, because um, the energies are really going to be high as far as with love. So again, um, you're going to be leaving an old situation behind, maybe a possible love. So some of you may have broken up with someone, and it, it brought out a lot of of uh, growth and transformation so that's what the death card is about death card is actually about growth so this is you know basically you know getting rid of one aspect of of your life for yourself and then you know changing and growing you know maybe even turning turning that energy into something good um this could indicate that again that you may have lost someone um to death in the past um maybe you just had someone break up with you maybe you broke up with that person in the past with the person from your past so that you could um, you know work on yourself I know a lot of people do that um, for your present card you did get the five of pentacles <clears throat> so I get the sense that there's definitely some conflict Aries um, you may be feeling as though you're not getting the love that you want. You may be feeling a little left out in the cold. You know, maybe he he or she works a lot. Um, I think that, that this card would say to you, Aries is, you know, try to, um, you know, get, you know, try to, to, to find some ways to, What's the word that I'm looking for? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm seeing with this card, the Five of Pentacles is about worry. So for a lot of you Aries, you're worried about your love life. You're worried about your partner currently. You're worried about if you're going to find a relationship, you feel like you're not getting enough out of life. Things feel really off balanced. It feels like everybody else is doing better than you. Everybody is getting married around you, and it feels like you're the only one that hasn't gotten there yet. So, here's what I want to tell you. What I like about this drawing is you can see the church in the window, which is basically spirituality. So, you can see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, this also could indicate maybe money problems or, or interfering with your love life. So maybe you want to fix the money problems. Okay. By the way, I do have a money reading coming up for this channel. I'm going to try to record those also. Um, for your final card, you did get the Seven of Pentacles, Aries, which indicates there's a relationship that you are pursuing that is fruitless. For some of you now this may not resonate with all of you but um the seven of pentacles you know indicates some sort of burden okay now typically it's about money but for a love reading there's definitely 
going to be some sort of burden in the future in the month of May and it's going to be related to um, this five of pentacles so this is what you're manifesting Aries so you want to be careful with that because you know you want to think about your thoughts and think about your actions and think about what what you put inside of yourself that comes out so it's kind of like a speak no evil hear no evil see no evil So the Seven of Pentacles is about business and trade, long-term success, perseverance. So even though you are going through uh, with card number two with the Five of Pentacles, there's definitely some feeling like you, you'll, you'll, it looks like you're, you're definitely avoiding failure with this card. And it just means that your path will be long, but the reward, but the rewards will be great if you can continue without losing determination or vigor. So basically what that means is that you just have to take your time. Okay, Rome wasn't built in the day. So whatever relationship that you're in, whoever whoever it is, male or female, um, you just make sure you take your time, Aries. Okay, give that person the chance to process it. To the chance to process you okay um, I can see you getting a lot of return on what you've invested a lot into so it looks like for, for a lot of you Aries you have invested a lot of energy into the relationship. Um, and it just seems like things are going to go well in the future. Um, if you're not in a committed relationship, then just be open to other possibilities. But you got to keep in mind that it's going to take work on your, your part as well. You have to give as well as take, okay? If you want a, a personalized reading, the link is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.